Hello and welcome to this little update on what's happening with my next prototype for the powered armoured exoskeleton. I've now pretty much finished designing the Mark V prototype which will succeed at that pathfinder behind me. I'm basically trying to get everything ready so once I buy the materials I can just go straight into building it and build it as fast as possible. I'm doing this little short video as well just as an update before I release some more videos over the next few weeks on the actuators that I've made. I've now pretty much finished all of the CAD files, all of the framework that will be fully made out of carbon fibre. It's pretty much already on multiple files. Pretty much all of the shell done in CAD as well, and I've started print 3D printing most of it. You can see it is all pretty simplistic looking, but I realised it's actually just easier to do that and it's easier to lay the armour in. The other thing to keeping it simple and not tailoring the shape of it so much is that it will be easy to fit onto other people if parts aren't overly tailored around the muscle groups. For example, there's no point tailoring the armour to go tight around the knee joints because people's knees are often quite different, bigger or smaller, straight or to the right, to the left, so you're better off just keeping everything straight anyway. I think the main thing that is still got work to do on is the helmet. I've had multiple different designs. This is probably my favourite that would have a flip down visor with cameras and screens in. I kind of come away from the idea of using a polycarbonate visor just because it ends up really bulky and heavy for very little plus points. So I think a flip down visor is probably the best way to go. And as I say, I have already started printing some of these parts out. So you've got the forearm face here and then in real life we have it here with the casing on as well the idea of this is i'll cast the armor into the faceplate i will of course be coating the 3d print to protect it but what this will allow is a really good fit and finish with everything being perfectly symmetrical i'll then be able to cut round at the 3d print to get the perfect shape for the cast armor and then i've got this two-piece outer ring that will then go over the arm face like so, then giving you a perfect fit and finish for each piece of our plate. These, of course, aren't designed to be load bearing in any way, shape or form. It's just to make sure the cast for the armor is perfect. Also, it's going to be really useful for any holes that need to be put into it. So nothing's having to be hand drilled. Uh, these also will allow bigger or smaller pieces to be made very efficiently because you are just obviously increasing the size of the CAD file. You're not having to make any new tooling to do anything at all which is the reason for this little update before these videos come out. I have been making my own actuators from scratch. This one being a large stepper motor. And then another design that I'm trialing where you have the brushless motor with a planetary gearbox built into it. This is in particular so I can lower the cost of the next suit while also not relying on supply chains internationally, not having to buy actuators in. I can just make them myself economically in the UK, which so far is looking pretty good. So there'll be two or three videos coming out soon for the actuators themselves. I'm also thinking of doing a Patreon where I put the designs for the actuators on the Patreon. I know a lot of you are in the US, so it's kind of pointless me trying to sell the actuators as a finished item, but I could sell the files so you guys can either 3D print them or better yet, make them out of laser cut steel. Of course, you could add to the designs, change them, do whatever. If I do this, I'll put a proper tutorial on the Patreon and in as many different file formats as possible. Something else I'm trying to work out if it's possible with the electronics is whether I can make my own LFP batteries from scratch instead of buying them in and putting up cells together, but I haven't worked out yet. And lastly, as for armor testing, which I think is something that people would like to see, if you've been following what's gone on in the UK over the last few weeks, I think someone was put in jail the other day for 20 months for Facebook posts. You can imagine my caution with putting anything like that on. Because while I am trying to do this 100% legit and actually try to get into military funding programs like DASA, the laws are such that they can basically be interpreted in whichever way they please. So again, I'm being cautious on putting anything like that on. And that's about it for now. I'm hoping part one of the actuator videos will be out next week-ish. I think the first video will be covering the stepper motor design. And then the video after that will be covering the quasi-direct drive brushless motor. And there might be a part three after that showing the performance of the motors and comparing them as well. Yet to be decided. So have a good day. Feel free to like and subscribe. I hope to see you on the next video. And if you think the Patreon idea of putting the designs on the Patreon is a good one, and please let me know in the comments down below.